Welcome back to Mad Medicine. In this lecture, we're going to be doing an overview of DNA replication. Now, this is just an overview. We're going to get deeper into DNA replication and talk about the exact specific processes of how DNA replicates. But for now, we're going to do a quick brief, uh, essentially bird's eye view of what happens during DNA replication. If you guys want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our account because your support means a lot to us and it allows us to keep these types of educational videos completely free so that you don't have to go deeper into debt as you study medicine. So with that being said, let's dive right in and let's first review DNA. DNA is your genetic code. I'm sure you already know this, but this is just a quick review in case you forgot. It is located in the nuclei of eukaryotic cells. You do have DNA in the mitochondria called your mitochondrial DNA, but in terms of your genetic code specifically and how genes are activated, that DNA is located in the nucleus along with um, other... Uh, things that we're going to discuss in subsequent lectures. But DNA itself is a polymer of nucleotides, and these are your nucleotide structures right here in the bottom. When you combine a bunch of these nucleotides in a specific fashion, you will get this structure right here, the double helix shape of DNA. So nucleotides themselves are composed of three main components. The first is the sugar backbone. If you look right here, this is the sugar backbone right here. This is a ribose sugar. The second thing is a nitrogenous base. DNA has these nitrogenous bases on them. The nucleotides, excuse me, have these nitrogenous bases on them. And the purpose of these nitrogenous bases is that they allow two specific strands to essentially bind to each other. So you see these colorful things right here that are binding this strand and this strand to each other. These are nitrogenous bases. And then finally, you have a phosphate group right here. Okay, the difference between, remember, the difference between a nucleotide versus a nucleoside is that in a nucleoside, the phosphate group is on the side, meaning it is not connected, it's on the side. Quick little trick. Okay, so that is DNA in a quick, uh, in a quick uh, nutshell. Essentially, now we gotta talk about DNA replication to give you a good overview. All right, we're almost done, so stay tuned. Now, DNA replication occurs during the interphase cell cycle phase. It occurs in interphase, all right? And there are many, many proteins and enzymes that are involved in replicating DNA. This is a very complex process. It is not simple and is not meant to be simple. Because you have so many genes, you have so many, so much DNA, and all these genes and every component of DNA is very important. It plays a very important role in the cellular mechanisms that we have. DNA replication is a semi-conservative pathway, okay? Meaning you are going to get one part that is going to be continuously replicated and the other part that is not going to be continuously replicated. It involves both continuous and discontinuous strands. Do you see, look at this photo right here. This, the, the replication is the green uh, strand right here. This green strand is continuous, but these strands right here, it stops, it starts again. These are not continuous. And these non-continuous pathways are called Okazaki fragments. So you have both continuous and discontinuous strands occurring. And the main thing, if there's one thing you can remember right now, is that DNA replication occurs in the five prime to three prime direction. Okay, and it goes from five prime to three prime. It is not gonna go in any other way. So this is the five prime direction and it's gonna go all the way this way to the three prime direction as you can see right here. So with that being said, we are going to essentially now conclude this lecture because in, the, in our next lecture, we're gonna be discussing the specific pathway of DNA replication. We're gonna be going deeper into these enzymes that we are discussing and these proteins that play a role in the process. We're also gonna be discussing these Okazaki fragments as well as some parts of the cell cycle. We'll do a review of that as well, all right? So with that being said, I hope this was educational. If it was, please consider subscribing to our channel because your support really means a lot to us. It allows us to continue making these educational videos completely free so that you don't have to pay a single dime and you don't have to go deeper into debt. And if you want to see more educational content like this, go to our website, www.madmedicine.org, where you can find a bunch more educational videos completely free. Thank you.